Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI. By popular demand, it's Roku Day here at the channel. If you've been a subscriber here for any length of time, you've probably seen a couple of my streaming device reviews. Whether it's the latest Fire Stick like the 4K Max or the 4K Google streaming device from Walmart. In the comments of nearly any of those videos, I'll usually see somebody say how much they love their Roku device and ask when I'm going to do a review on one of them. Well, today's not that day. However, in this video, I am going to show you some critical settings that you should change right now to both make your Roku streaming experience better and to potentially protect you from Big Brother watching what you're doing. No, I'm not talking about a VPN. We're going to get to it in a minute. I'm going to show you roughly eight settings that you should know about if you have any Roku streaming device. After that, I'm going to show you one controversial secret setting that I'm going to need your help with to settle a recent debate on. Please do stay until the end so you don't miss out on that. I'd really like your participation on this. It'll be fun. So if you're ready to look under the hood of your Roku streaming device and look at some of those settings that you really should be changing, grab your remotes and let's go. If you're new to Cord Cutters LI, where we try to help you save money on your cable bill, please click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Doing this will make sure you don't miss out on any new videos as they come out and it helps to support the channel. All right, so we're gonna start here at the home screen of the Roku Streaming Stick 4K. These settings are the same on all Roku devices, everything I show you here today. Uh, so you can just follow along regardless of the model that you have. The first thing we're gonna do is go down to the settings and we're gonna go over to privacy and click on that. In the advertising section, you're gonna to wanna to uncheck this box that says personalize ads. So Roku really doesn't want you to turn this off, as you can see by what they're telling you here. It says, don't personalize ads. It says, your ads may not be relevant to you. That's good, because I don't want to see ads at all. And, you know, if they're relevant, then I might be tempted to click on them. So let's, uh, let's not do that. You will see the same number of ads. So we're not reducing any ads. We're going to get to that secret setting later. I'm talking about the ads. So stay tuned. So let's skip all that garbage and just hit don't personalize my ads. And we'll go back. The next setting I want to bring you to is under network. And if we move over here and we go down to bandwidth saver. So the default setting here is set to on. And what that means is after four hours or so of not touching the remote, it's going to stop streaming whatever you're streaming to save bandwidth. Well, I don't know about you, but bandwidth is unlimited here at Cord Cutters Ally household. And probably the same thing goes for you. If you're like me, you like to binge watch a couple of shows on Netflix or Hulu or whatever. Four hours goes pretty quick and, you know, you don't want to have to hunt for the remote after it stops playing for you. So go ahead and change this to off. The next setting I feel is a little hidden and uh, this is the screensaver setting I'm going to turn off. That is in the theme menu. And if you go down to screensaver start time, I'm just going to go ahead and disable the screensaver. I'm not a big fan of this. Uh, the default setting is 10 minutes. So if you, you know, if you're watching something, um, you pause, you know, your your TV, your Netflix, or your live TV, whatever you are watching. Um, go to the bathroom, grab a beer, whatever. 10 minutes later, it's going to go into screensaver mode. And unfortunately, sometimes these devices don't wake up very well uh, from screensaver. A lot of times, when you come back and you hit the remote uh, to wake it up, you know, you're going to be back at the home screen and then have to navigate back to where you were before. So I make it a habit of just disabling the screensaver altogether. Let's go back. Next, we go to display type. This is a setting that uh, if you don't have set to automatic, I've had a couple of friends reach out to me and let me know that they had a regular HD 1080p TV before, and it was set to this. Uh, when they upgraded their TV to a new 4K or HDR TV, um, their screen just kind of looked like crap. So. You can usually set this to automatic, so it will automatically determine um, the display that it's connected to. Here I'm on a uh, 1080p device, so this is what it's going to be set to. But later, if I disconnect this and hook it up to my 4K TV, I'm probably going to want to pick one of those other options. So let's get out of here. The next setting is under audio. If you've been hearing me click around here, those annoy me. So I like to go into audio and just toggle this from the menu volume, change that to off. So no more clicking sounds as you navigate around. A lot of people don't know that that's an option. If you're one of those, go ahead and put some comments down below and uh, uh, you're welcome. The next setting I wanna show you has to do with the payment method. 
I didn't even realize that I had this configured because I, I bought some of the stuff that I bought for Roku on my computer, but this carries over when you um, activate a device. So the problem with that is that you can very easily buy stuff, or maybe one of your kids clicking around uh, can very easily buy stuff without you knowing about it. So to remove this credit card from your Roku device, you can't really do it on the device here. You need to go out to the website, go to my.roku.com slash account, and then click on update and scroll all the way down to the bottom to remove payment method. I'm not going to do that here because I'm the only one that uses this device and I have nothing to worry about. So let's continue on. Let's go back out. So the next setting I'm going to show you is in the system setting. And it's down in power. You have auto power savings after 20 minutes of no interaction. So in other words, if you don't do anything, if you just walk away from the home screen, it's going to go ahead and shut down your device after 20 minutes. I'm not a fan of this either. Um, if I have my TV on, I'm probably going to want my device on. So I uncheck this. You're probably going to want to do that as well. It's going to ask you to confirm and that's fine. The next setting down is where you actually restart the device, which is always a good idea if you're having some issues, um, some buffering, or if one of your apps are acting up and so on. Um, earlier I had some Wi-Fi issues. I thought I wasn't connected. So going into a system restart took care of that. Um, the other option, of course, is to climb behind the TV and unplug the power and plug it back in again. But this will save you that that grief okay backing out now the last section i want to show you is under advanced system settings and this is where you would do a factory reset if you wanted to um, if you you know have your roku loaded up with a whole bunch of junk that you don't use anymore or if you're upgrading to a different device and you want to give this one to a friend or relative uh, you'd want to do a factory reset first and that's where you'd do that so those are the key settings that I wanted you to look at. Let me know in the comments down below if you knew about all of those or one or two of those were new for you. Now let's get to that interesting secret setting part that I was telling you about uh, that I want to uh, settle a debate on. I have searched around, I've found on YouTube many, many videos that let you know how to get rid of this annoying ad uh, that's above my head there. The instructions that you will find invariably if you hunt around enough you can get to a secret settings section of your Roku by following this button sequence. I'm going to say it out loud. I'll also put it on the screen for you so you can see what I'm talking about. You hit the home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then up, right, down, left, and up. And watch what happens. Secret screen number two. It's kind of weird because there is no secret screen number one. But the consensus out there on the interwebs is that if you change two settings in here, you're going to be able to get rid of that ad on the right side of the screen and on the home screen in general. And those settings are as follows. You go down to cycle scrollable ads and you would change this to always disabled. And then you move down to cycle home screen ad banner server and you change that. See on the left, as I'm hitting this button, it toggles those settings. You're supposed to set that to demo three. Once you do that, you hit home and that ad is supposed to be gone. I've also seen some other videos and some instructions that says after you hit home, you go to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, and to the right again, and it's gone. For me, I've not had this work. I've also seen other videos and articles that say it may take one or two restarts of the Roku to, to make this ad disappear. Well, I have a feeling that one of the recent updates in Roku just got rid of this function altogether. And that's where you come in. I'd like to hear what you have to say about this in the comments down below. If you have a Roku and it's recently been updated, let me know if this still works for you. Do you have these ads? I've heard from a couple of people that the ads mysteriously showed up again on their Roku device over the last week or so. Let's settle the debate once and for all in the comments section down below. Let me know if it works for you. Let me know if it doesn't work for you. I really like to hear from you. So there you go. A whole bunch of settings that you may or may not have known about on your Roku streaming device. If you enjoyed anything you saw here today, please click the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters Ally videos with your friends. This helps to get my videos shown to more people on YouTube and helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching.